Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I'm up in North Naples, Florida. I'm on the beach at Pelican Bay. Actually down at the south end of the beach at Pelican Bay. Almost down to Clam Pass. The sun has finally broken through the clouds here and it is gorgeous. 74 degrees now. It's just after nine. Beautiful Friday morning. We'll see some more clouds later today, but mostly sunny now. Today's high is probably gonna get up around 84, 85, somewhere in there. This is gorgeous. I know the description here says I'm on Vanderbilt Beach, but I'm south of Vanderbilt Beach. Vanderbilt Beach is way up there past that first group of condos. I just love it down here. It's a bit of a hike down here. But very rarely will you see anybody sitting out on the beach here. This is all private beach, by the way. This is owned by Pelican Bay. Technically, you're not supposed to walk up on this beach beyond this high tide line right in here. But I just give everybody a glimpse of it every once in a while. It's just so beautiful. That sun's out bright now. Nice. What a difference when that sun comes out. Big difference when the sun's out, how the water looks. Definitely brings the colors out when that sun pops up. Water's not as clear as it has been for the past few days because of these little waves. 70 degrees, by the way, that's the water temperature. We're getting very close to low tide here. Very close to low tide. Probably another 25 minutes. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a super low tide. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being a friend. Hit that share button.
gorgeous sunset last night. I hope you were able to tune in live. Facebook didn't do a very good job of saving those videos. They're there. You can watch the replays. I did share some photos. You can go back and check out the photos of the sunset. A few sunset and twilight. Twilight was gorgeous. I was kind of snapping those off during my live feed. It's kind of a compromise. It breaks up the live feed for a second, but I love having those photos to share later. Once in a while, if you look out there in the water, you can see some waves breaking. You can see the little white. Now it doesn't do it. It was just doing it. That's where that sandbar is out there. It's not sticking up very much this morning out there. Figures. They were breaking out there just just before I said that. And then it stopped. I was out on the sandbar. I spent a lot of time out on that sandbar yesterday morning down on Vanderbilt Beach. It's one of my favorite views is out on that sandbar looking back at the beach. There was one, finally. <laughs> one little one out there. It is going to be an awesome, awesome beach morning. Holy cow. I'll bet you Vanderbilt Beach is going to be jamming. Speaking of Vanderbilt Beach, Vanderbilt Beach Park down the south end there where the parking garage is. They did open up one of the permanent restroom facilities there, the only one that survived the storm. They got rid of all the Porta Johns. So that's some good news. They also opened up the turnaround up at the Bluebell Beach access at the north end of Vanderbilt. They turn around there by Delnor Wiggins so you can at least go in there now and drop your friends and family off and go back to the parking lot at Connors Park. Catch a ride over the bridge with our friend Christine. If you happen to go into that turnaround and you see the gates are open at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, the park is not open. Do not, do not go into Del Norwegian's, whatever you do. Stay out of there. Bit of a walk back to Vanderbilt Beach still. It's 
one of the beach clubs for Pelican Bay that's not open that got ravaged by the hurricane. Got a lot of work to do on that. The bar and restaurant. Amazing, it still has some windows in it. So this is Bay Colony in Pelican Bay now. Where you see these homes and condos by the water. By the beach. Off to a little bit of a late start this morning. I overslept this morning. I just didn't get to bed till kind of late last night. I was up dilly dallying on social media, getting my pictures posted and videos uploaded to YouTube. Facebook was acting up last night. So it took me a lot longer than I expected. It's a big house, a big, big house. I assume it's a house, not a hotel. <laughs> Putting in a few steps here this morning. I walked over to the beach from my house. So. That usually adds a, a mile or so to my walk in the morning. Be interesting to see what my final step count and mileage is for this morning. I also have a habit of kind of zigzagging my way along the beach, walk a straight line.
air button kind of quiet there it's kind of quiet out there in facebook land this was something earlier that i mentioned i noticed i never noticed it before just because all the underbrush is gone but i think there's a little parking lot for the people in pelican bay here Jack says, I've never noticed that before. Never seen through air before. I don't know where the walkway is or whatever. I assume that's what it is. Looks like there might have been a little pond back in there too. But all the landscape is gone. never see through here just amazing that storm surge just wiped out all of the low level a little drop out there great i'm thinking that's what that is i don't know could just be construction workers parking in there who knows Since I don't live in Pelican Bay, can't afford that lifestyle. Can't really afford any lifestyle. Super Bowl Sunday, PIA. Who's it going to be? Chiefs or the Eagles?
lot of little ups and downs here now. You can see all these little hills here. What a difference from when we first came out here this morning. All that blue sky now. Dang it. Clouds are disappearing now, big time. Just bright sun. It's beautiful. I am Rob. Awesome. Well, guess what? Now you're on it. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks. You're welcome. Enjoy. Good morning. <laughs> that gentleman said he watches us every morning. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. I love that. I love that. That's why I do it. Not for the recognition, but just to get people together. I love it. Yeah, there's a lot of people that haven't made one single solitary comment over the years that are watching, but they don't say anything. They're just watching in the background. I'm not going to mention any names. One of them lives over in Florida City. <laughs> Sweetheart. So you can see those white caps out there breaking the waves breaking on the sandbar out there now. Well, of course, no. Now I say that, they were right before I pointed at them. <laughs> Cracks me up. The way that happens, there's one. I don't know where those dolphins are. It's a beautiful morning for dolphins here.
if you're enjoying the views here, the sights, the sounds, comradeship with our beach family, hit that share button. Invite your friends to join us. If you're liking what I'm doing, please, 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 if you want to see these live feeds and other little things that I share on Facebook and YouTube, continue, please think about maybe becoming a subscriber to my Southwest Florida Television Facebook page. Also, stars on Facebook. You can send stars to pretty much any of my videos, just about all of my videos, not just my live feeds. I get a penny for each star that you send. And of course, tips. I don't know what to say. Tips are greatly appreciated. I appreciate the stars. The tips just go a little bit further. They're immediate. The stars takes a while to see that money from Facebook. Plus, you got to pay a fee with Facebook, but I do appreciate the stars. I love people seeing the fact that people enjoy what I'm doing and are sending the stars. Those tips are what really get me through the week, the day, the week, the month. find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Easy to use. And I do thank you. God bless you. Those of you that do that, some of you do all three. You subscribe. You send stars and tips. Awesome friends. Awesome friends. Getting closer to Vanderbilt Beach. If you're looking for some beachfront property. Anywhere along here, call our friend Astrid Lawrence. She'll hook you up. She's got the scoop on prices and availability. I hate to even guess what these condos are going for. I have not seen Astrid in a while. I used to see her at Wiggins. She'd pop up, pop out on the beach and surprise me and Roy. But I think it's going on a year now since I've seen Astrid. Close to a year, maybe. Miss her. I know she had a party. A Christmas party or something down at her office on Fifth Avenue. I just couldn't make it to that. I feel bad about that. Need to go find her. Do a walk with her on Fifth Avenue South.
paradise. Don't you think? Would you not agree with me? This is paradise. There's the Ritz peeking out around the corner there from that condo. So we are almost to the end of our walk. I see a couple stars up there, thank you. Maybe. I have a hard time seeing the screen here. Sun coming over my shoulder, hitting the screen here. morning at the beach, my friends. Glorious Friday. Glorious.
can't get over how that blue sky popped out. Man, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, I think I'm gonna call it a morning. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We'll see what transpires tomorrow. See where I wind up. See what the weather situation is. Like I said, I think we're, we might be seeing some rain over the weekend here. Little front moving through. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.